Good morning guys. Today I'm going to be changing my indicators to LED. Um, I'm not sure if you can really see but when I bought this box, the original owner put nightshade on the on the covers. It just, it turned them, I tried to take it off sorry and it just, it turned them really, a really ugly cloudy cover. I was just going to buy like a replacement clear cover but um, I thought why bother just Changing the whole thing to LED. Um, I will be installing uh, these Barracuda um, LED indicators. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, in order for these to work and to avoid the hyper flashing, you have to install a. You can either install an inline resistor, or you can do the LED flash relay. Now, my bike is a GSSX 1000. Basically, the LED relay is pretty much just under here. Um, it's very easy to get to, just take that off, take that off. I think you have to do a couple of screws here. I've already taken it off, I've got it ready to go. It's a bit early in the morning, so I'm just waiting for the shop to open up in order for me to go buy that resistor. Um, other than that, let's tackle this ahead. Oh, I should also mention, I've only got one set. Um, I'm still waiting for the other set to arrive. Um, and I'm also waiting for an LED headlight to arrive. So I thought I may as well do the back, um, get that out of the way. All right guys, progress so far. I've taken the old indicator off. I've mounted it, it's only rough mounted, nothing's tight yet. Um, if you can see there, it's pulled through there. This is the cable here. Basically, this is the old indicator. I've tested it. The stripe is the negative. And obviously the non-striped is the positive. So I'm going to do a join there. Um, hook it up. Do the other side. And then go from there. Guys, this is very easy to do. Honestly, if you're electrically minded or just even mechanically minded, it's a simple job. You should be able to do it. Um, and then for those who don't know, if you can see there, this is the flusher relay here. Ah, uh, that's it there. So, yeah, basically you just need to change that over. It's literally, you pull it off, it's a two-pin flasher relay, change it to an LED one, plug the new one in, it should stop the pipe by flashing. Anyways, I'm going to do these joins, um, and hopefully we'll come back and it, she's working. Cheers. All right, guys. LED light number one is on. About to hit the second one, just so I can show you what the hyper flash looks like. Bike turned on, left indicator on. And that's the hyper flash. Easy fix. All you need is that relay. Okay, guys. Uh, it's pretty much all done. The rear indicators are on. I've put the relay in. Um, so this is the original relay. Two pin. 12.8 uh, volt. Blah, 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 blah. The new relay is in. The only one I could find was just from JCAR. Uh, which is like just like a local electronic store down here. Um, it's about double the size though. Um, but other than that, like, there's no real issues with it. Um, turn the bike on. Left indicator. Schmick. And then we go to the right indicator. Schmick. Um, obviously the front ones are still just normal, um, I'm waiting for them to arrive, um, sorry the Barracuda LED ones to arrive, and I'm also going to be changing the headlight to a um, LED as well, so really there's no point changing the front ones until I get that, that LED headlight as well, because yeah, I'll have to remove this whole housing, it dips forward, and um, we'll go from there. Good morning guys and welcome back. It's roughly been about uh, a week since I installed the rear indicators on the bike. So that's them all there, all ready to go, all wired up. Since then, I have gotten the front indicators. They're all on wired in. Um, I have taken the front headlight off uh, just to install the LED light. I'll show you how I've done that. But basically, look, these are the front LEDs here. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm not too happy with the install of them, the the brackets and whatnot, they're not 
the best but it'll do for now in the future i'll look at getting something else on um i had to set instrument cluster off as well which is just one screw here then these little tabs just pop off um and then the wiring's all done i've just soldered everything here um taped everything up and yeah i'll show you guys the led headlight now okay so here's the led headlight it's a for those who don't know it's a h4 globe style globe sorry uh basically all i've done is just taken it off cut the dust cover just a little bit just get it nice has a little tail here that you connect to the uh, existing plug. Basically, just run it around the rim here, the fan, sorry. Make it nice and tight so no dust gets in there. Um, and then to put it back on, it's very simple. So these little tabs here just sit in there as so. Make sure they're all nice. Obviously, the thing lifts up. These two screws go here. Just to clarify, for those who may have not understood what I meant, two Formula Allen screws go in there. That's one nice and tight. Then we get this. It's just a white little tab that goes on. Just uh, clips in. Then obviously just the other formulas go in there. Okay, so just try to start the bike. <laughs> It wouldn't start, so it seems I've got a flat battery. Uh, just putting the battery on charge now. Hopefully that's only the case and I haven't shorted anything out. I don't think it is, but wait and see. Good morning, guys. It's roughly 9 a.m. Sydney time. Um, yeah, I left the battery charging overnight. Um, actually, I reconditioned the whole thing. So I've put it all back together. I've got good voltage on it. I think she will start. I hope she will start. So let's go. Let's show you guys these indicators and earlier headlight. We'll go from there. So just thought I'd briefly talk about the mounting of the indicators. Um, look, it's not the best work. Um, basically, you have to drill out some plastic bits in here to make this all sort of work. Um, so you need drill bits, drills and whatnot. You need some washers to make it sit nice and flush. Um, if anyone has any recommendations or any photos or anything of how they've installed their indicators I'd, I'd love to see how it was done because yeah i'm not 100 percent happy with how it turned out i'd rather it look schmick and nice because this is a nice bike um and yeah thanks for watching guys hope everyone's staying safe during this whole coronavirus pandemic um hopefully we can all get out on the bike soon and go from there thanks